Hey guys and goals, this is Nessie, and today I'm going to do a review on the Dracula and Gigi Grant dolls. And they're actually, they kind of look like the Frankenstein Boutique doll, designer boutique. Um, they don't really have a name to the line, but they're kind of low budget dolls, you know. They don't have very much detail or many accessories. But yeah, so that's why I'm doing both of these in one video because, I mean, I don't want to make them separate videos because, I mean, I don't know. It's easier to do them both. So the boxes, like I said, are like the small boxes with a low budget. Um, this one says Gigi Grant on the side, and this one says Dracula, obviously. And it kind of has little designs. And on the back, it's this one. It's Gigi Grant. It has her killer style, freaky flaw, and favorite activity. And then it has the other three dolls, which is Claudine, Dracula, and Freaky Sign. I'm going to read one. I'll read her favorite activity. And it says, I love to go sightseeing. It's always a bonus when a monster wishes to take a trip to some place I haven't already been. It's raining hardcore outside. And then here is Dracula, and it has her killer style for Key Flaw and favorite activity also. And then it also has the other ones, Frankie Sign, Gigi, and Claudine. The other dolls part of this line, I guess. And I'll read her for Key Flaw, and it says, Since I can't see my reflection in the mirror, I have to leave the house not knowing if my clothes and makeup are just right. Of course, after 1,600 years of practice, I've gotten pretty good at it. So it basically says the exact same thing in her diary, but it's overall the same. Um, also, the animation is different than the actual doll. For example, Gigi, her hair is to the side and it looks long in the picture, but in the actual doll, it's in like a really tall ponytail and it looks short if you look at it. And for Draculaura, um, her animation has bangs and it actually looks like she's dressed up as her original character. And I mean, as you can see, she's not. Um, same thing on the back, you can see the her bangs and that's actually what she has. She doesn't even have earrings, I don't think. And then Gigi just... She looks like the same one to me, except the hair, basically. So I'm going to unbox it, and I'm going to talk about them. And we're back. Here are the dolls out of the box. Yeah, one over here, one over here. Uh, I'll start with Gigi, I guess. A little, because she's over here. So the first thing I want to say is both these dolls both don't have, like, joints in their arms. So you can only move them up and down, rather than from you can move them out or around and move the actual hand and put it in a pose. You can't do that with these. Um... The legs actually do have the joints though, it's the only thing that does. And then the head, you can only move it side to side. This one's actually on here really, really tight, but you can only move it, like, oh yeah, like that, I was trying to do that. Like this, move it around like that, but you can't move it like that or up and down, it just won't let you, like the original one. But yeah, I kind of wish they did more details to these dolls, but you know, it's okay. But I'm guessing, I'm guessing the audience that they're trying to like get to with this are younger kids like if they lose pieces and stuff or the arms come off because there's a lot of joints on the original ones then it's like more of they'll come off and lose the parts that's why there's not very many accessories or anything it's just like a couple bracelets and that's pretty, pretty much it but yeah um she's her hair's in the top ponytail it has the pink type color with the gold highlight highlights i can i should say then she has blue eyeshadow and gold eyeshadow also. And then her lips are like this purplish color. Like a really soft purple. Her dress is, yes, a one piece. It's a whole dress. And there's black up here and it has gold glittery stuff on the top. And then there's like a gold belt. And then on the bottom part of it, it's half blue and half pink. I would say purple. And there's like little looks like diamond designs and her shoes are kind of like Gigi shoes you know or genie I don't know why I said Gigi um, and they have this weird little heel here where it's not really one it kind of looks like a the little lantern thing that they come out of with a little hook at the top kind of like an elf so there's Gigi They're probably back there here's Jackie Laura she has the same stuff with Gigi about the um, the joints and stuff her hair is black with the pink highlights on top, and she has pink eyeshadow with her pink lipstick that's kind of like a soft pink. And then she doesn't, or she doesn't have like, or she has this little necklace type thing that's that's white, and it has like a bat on it. And then her dress is pink with a little. Um, what is that color? What am I trying to say? Yellow or goldish belt type thing with pink and 
pink hearts and little black bows. She has a bracelet here that's yellow. And then her shoes are like boots, kind of like boot heels, I guess you could say that. They're pink, and that's basically it. I forgot to mention on Gigi, she actually has a bracelet here. Yeah, it, I'm trying to, it has like a snake on it. It looks like a snake, but it's probably not, but that's what it looks like. So yes, here's Jackie Laura and Gigi. Um, there's actually the other two dolls for this, or other two dolls, yeah, on this line is... Claudine and Frankie. So stay tuned, or if, yeah, just watch those. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Please do comments and subscribe to our account. Bye.